This is Sharkbite ball valve FNPT. And one side is push connect, the other side is a female connector. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect it and how to remove it. Let's get started. This is a quarter turn ball valve, so you can turn it very smooth and close it with a stop, like here. First step, cut the copper. After the copper was cut, you need to remove the burr. Now you see it's really sharp. First one to remove the outside using this way and push hard and turn. Let's use this side to clean the inside. Then mark the copper 0.95 inch. You don't need to use the sandpaper to sand the surface, but you're gonna make sure that the copper tube is round and there's no dirt, no damage. Let's check the push connection. Right in the middle, there's a plastic tube. This is the stiffening collar. If you're using PEX, this one must be in there. But if you use copper, it doesn't have to, but you can leave this inside. You see the metal teeth? Actually, this is the stainless grab ring. Actually, it grabs the tubes. And inside, right above here, there is the O-ring. The O-ring is actually seal the tube. So if you pushed, but you didn't push all the way in, you just stop right here. You probably won't get good seal, so it causes leak. So that's why we need to make a mark. So we make sure that we goes to here. So when you get ready, first step, just uh, uh, put the inner collar in the tube like this. And then you will against the stainless grab ring and the line up, it must be line up and start to push and keep pushing. Okay, right here. So the mark is here. You see that it's all the way in here. So it will get a good seal. Let's check the other side. The other side is actually the female connector. So we are using either PEX or you can use the copper. Don't forget you need to put the tape on the thread. So this is pretty simple, just a turn. And then when you get to the end, you're gonna use wrench to make it tight. And uh, let's talk about the disconnection. Sometimes you just made a mistake or you just changed your design. For shark bite, it's very easy. And we can just use wrench to disconnect this part. And for the push connection, we got a special tool. This is a disconnector. So it got different size, depends on the tubes you're using. But when we're using this, we're not using this side, we're using the other side. So the other side facing the push connection, this is the collar, like this. All we need to do is push the disconnector into the fitting, at the same time, pull the copper. You need to be like pushing really hard. Another try. Okay, after we remove, we're gonna check if any damage. If any damage, you can use it. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.